Hello photographers, today I want to share with you my iPad Pro raw editing workflow using Lightroom. Now, what I'm not going to do is deeply explain the changes that I make to the image because I already explained the raw editing tools in this video right here. What I do want to do is show you my raw editing process. And that starts, of course, by selecting an image. And the first thing that I do before I do any other edits is I set the profile. The profile is Adobe's interpretation of the raw data in the image. And I like to use the Adobe neutral profile because it gives me a nice flat image to work with. With the profile, set I back out and I go into the light tab and what you're gonna see here is I actually don't do a ton of edits here in Lightroom because most of the work that I do to the image is in affinity photo but what I am doing is setting up the base image to work from and that starts with an exposure adjustment so I tend to underexpose my images a hair and so I usually take my exposure up between a half and maybe two-thirds or even a full stop and that looks pretty good right here now you'll notice that I have the highlights a little bit blown that was done intentionally because we have the highlight slider and that's the next thing I do is I take the highlights and I try to rebuild them using the highlight slider and that looks pretty good right around minus 87. I like to rebuild the highlights before I add the contrast to the image so that I can see the contrast across the entirety of the image. So we back out and I add enough contrast that it looks good. Now I'm not going to do any shadows adjustments because I don't have any dark shadow areas to lift up, but if I did have that, I would use the shadow slider. I am going to make a whites adjustment to just push a little bit of white back into those highlight areas to make sure that the colors look good. And I'm not gonna to touch the blacks because I didn't make a shadows change, so I don't need to make a blacks change. With that done, I move on to color. And with color, I usually do a white balance check. So I hit the little eyedropper here. I'm gonna drag my target down to the sock, which is a neutral tone. A white, black, or gray is what you're looking for. And then I'm gonna hit the little check mark to confirm that. And once my white balance has been set, I'm going to make vibrance and saturation adjustments. So vibrance, I'm always using a lighter touch. I'm just trying to balance out the intensity or the saturation of the colors in the image. And then with the saturation, I'll make my global saturation adjustment. And what I'm watching for is making sure that I don't destroy details. So I'm going to go up to around plus 33 looks pretty good for this image. We have this new texture slider and I've been using that in place of clarity because it does something similar to clarity but has a softer touch. So I like to look at the details when I'm adding texture because of course way too much looks awful. So I'm going to add around 10 or 12 13, whatever that is of texture. And now that I'm using texture, I'm not really using clarity. So I skip clarity and all of the rest of this and move right into detail. And the last thing I do to an image is I sharpen it. And I usually set my sharpening to around 60. And then I usually set my masking to around 90 or 91 or so. And what that does is set my image up for the edit that I'm going to do. So this is what the image looked like before I made my raw adjustments, and this is what the edit looks like after. So what I do after I'm done here is I do an export, I save it to files, I choose maximum available, and then I take that image and save it into this iCloud Drive Affinity Imports folder, and there it's ready for me to actually open up and import from cloud into Affinity Photo. Now I'm going to be going through the stuff I do in Affinity Photo. So I'd like to know what kind of tutorials you'd like to see for Lightroom on iPad and for Affinity Photo on iPad. Let me know what tutorials you'd like to see down in the comments. If you have any questions about Lightroom, Affinity, or working with your photos on your iPad, leave those down in the comments as well. And then I have a question for you. What is your favorite ice cream flavor? My current favorite is this ice cream. It's an oatmeal cookie ice cream that a local place makes. Oh my God, it is so good. Like I can't eat it because ice cream has pro propylene glycol in it and I'm allergic to that, which is awful, but oh my God. It's so good. Just let me know your favorite ice cream down in the comments. And then do me a favor, would you like this video and subscribe to my channel, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any of my videos. But the most important thing you gotta do is get out there and take some damn photos.